All right, guys, welcome back to Stoneblock. And today, guys, we're just going to get right into it. If you look behind me, you can see that diamond chest to check it out. We did some work over here. Look at it. We're going to back it up here. Oh, yeah, look at that. We got a gold chest over here. We got a diamond behind me. Dang, you should see what's in front of me. Oh, man. Oh, man, stuff has been done off camera. Stuff has been done. We have a we have a sheep, but check it out. I opened this room all the way up, and then, yeah, I put this here. I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking. Oh, I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> Hold up. We need to place that there or I'll die. There we go. And if you're wondering how I die, it would be from things. But look, this guy spawns in and then just instantly eats a piece of grass and now grass and now won't grow back. What a guy. Like, dude, you've been here for like two seconds and you're already eating everything. Yes, you should put your head down, shame. But anyways, guys, we are going to have some fun today. As you can see, I got a whole heck ton of clay. And I was also sifting up some dust here because I wanted to go ahead and get something. I wanted to go ahead and get some more redstone just because I feel like we're going to need it in the long run. Because I've only got 47 redstone and it's horrible. I just feel so poor. And we also got some uh, sugar cane seeds. You get those by sifting dirt. But you can only use the string, otherwise it gives you weird stuff. Um, but anyway, I have a whole bunch of sand here too that I've sifted up. And we need to make a thing called grout. Now this is pretty much going to be a tutorial for everyone who hasn't played with Tinker's Construct before. But, yeah, check it out, check it out. Boom, we're gonna be smelting these bad boys up. And you have them all smelted up. So what you go ahead and do is you make a smeltery controller, that's what that's called. <laughs> and then you go ahead and you do one of these, and this will hold all of the lava. So basically it uses lava to uh, melt down the ores. Oh my goodness, you're a rooster. What are you, why are you a thing? I thought chickens were just chickens. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and come in here a few blocks. Because this is going to be our tool room. Alright. And... Alright, so we went ahead and we cleared all this room out, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make these. These are the seared bricks. They basically are the backbone of this whole thing. And so we're going to go in four blocks like so. Punch it here. Punch it here and punch it here and then down one. So this is the basic template to making it and then you're going to fill it up here. Let me take away these. There we go. Ta-da! They're gone. All right, so we're going to need to make a few more. Okay, and then now a few more. And this should be okay for now. All right, perfect. So in order to get this bad boy running, we're going to put a the smeltery thing here. We're going to put a block here, and you should see it turns on. Yep, there we go. So we can only smelt... Uh, oh, six items. I built this wrong. This needs to be here. Here. And here, like that. Okay. So there we go. That's how you basically get the smeltery working. I keep seeing those... Sugar cane and thinking they're creepers, and I'm like freaking out a little bit. Uh, but then to make the drains, we're gonna we're only gonna be using one for now. We need to go like that, and then here is a casting basin. This will take all of the fluids and make them into blocks, and then we're gonna do a casting. Is it what is this a table? Yeah. So this is a casting table, and what that does is you put like special templates on it. So say like an ingot template, and it will go ahead and smelt it for, or like export it for you if that makes any sense. So there we go there, and if anything spawns in there, it'll probably die. So we also need to come on over here, one more thing, jumping around because of our slime boots, and go like a these, and there we go, this is like a drain, so now anything that gets put into here, you go ahead and click it, like the faucet, and it will extract it out of here and put it into our casting table. All right, so now that we have this in here, we can go ahead and move our other tools, or temp tool make things. We can move our other things in here. That's what we'll call them. So in order to do that, we need a part builder, but that will go next to the stencil table. And the tool station will go here. And let's see. Pattern chest will go here, and then... Actually, we should have done that. 
Ooh, the part chest. Okay. Actually, wait, what do you do? You hold parts. Oh, so like, like used parts. Oh, I get it. I get it. Now we're thinking with our brain. And booyah. So I'll show you guys how to make the stencils next. They're pretty cool. So we come over here, we're gonna grab some of these. We're gonna make some oak wood planks. Go like this, make that, boom. Now we have two full stacks. Booyah, where'd that rooster go? Oh, he's over there chilling. So we come here and we put these here like this. So say, hey, we wanna make this pickaxe head. Ta-da, you made a pickaxe head template. Now, in order to do that, you have to basically put that in there. Cheapskate. Yeah, I know I'm a cheapskate. And hold up. Let me see if I have any gold. That's what I want. I always want gold. Okay. Yeah, we, we, have, a, we have a bit of gold. Uh, we don't have a lot of gold, though. So this is how we make our casting. And we're going to need not enough heat. Uh, so let's grab a bucket. Hello, Mr. Sheepums. Are you scaring all the Endermen away? We're gonna grab a bucket of lavas. Every time I see it, I think it's the the thing is that. Okay, so it should be okay now. Yep, so gold smelts pretty quick, especially these smaller pieces like the nuggets. So now if anything spawns in there, it will die, pretty much. Which is crazy, because if we go in there, we'll die too. So it's kind of it's kind of scary. And, okay, perfect. So to, we put the um, the cobblestone thing here and then we're making a stencil right now. So check it out, 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 it's drying, it's drying, boof. That's gone, but now we have this cool pickaxe head cast. And let's see, do you hold this? Or did, did they fix you where you can hold these now? Oh, they did, perfect. So we can go here and just make basically all of, all of the ones that we want. All right, so we have all the utensils that we need to make casts out of. So we're gonna go ahead and put that back in. Oh, that's a cast chest. Oh, ooh, I dig it. I dig. We already made one of those. Okay, so let's check this out. This should require eight, and then we're gonna go ahead here with this one. Ta-da! Make the tough stone rod thingy. We're just gonna make the normal one. Okay. We're gonna make the sword. Hold up, we gotta get everything looking. We gotta get everything looking right. Okay. Okay, and then the thing above it, and then here we go. Okay, so that should be everything we need. Let's see if we have enough to cast all these. Now I think, I think this one's gonna be the most. I don't know if we, oh, that's not how you cast it. Oh, oh dang, we do. Why do we have? Oh, I thought it said we had 216 ingots for a second. I was like, holy crap, how did we get all of that? I'm going to go ahead here, and I'm going to make the rest of them. All right, guys, so unfortunately, we don't have enough gold to continue to make this. I, al I already found another two that was inside of our system here. Uh, but unfortunately, all we could make was just the four here, which was the tough tool rod, the hammer cast, and the excavator cast, which unfortunately doesn't mean we can craft a whole lot. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and see if we can craft some obsidian up and see if we can go ahead and break some cobalt so we can get the best tools possible. So I think you guys already know the method of making the obsidian, and I don't remember how much it's gonna we're going to need. But since this makes whoop, makes obsi or not obsidian, but lava so quick, we can go ahead. Oh, missed it. And just make a quick five, and let's see if... Because you can smelt this down into everything you need, I believe. That made sense, right? Okay, I'm gonna wait for the, oh my goodness, that's gonna take a bit. All right, these should be, yep, got them. Okay, so we have five blocks in here. Let's see if we can go ahead. Yep, we sure can make a pickaxe head, perfect. So let's go see here. Oh, our our grass did, oh, bouncing over it. Been doing that a bit. Been doing that a wee, wee little bit. All right, there we go, and boom. So paper should still be writable, which gives you an extra modifier on your tools. So we're going to need a binder, and then we do have this already. So let's go ahead and see if we can make this. So that should just cost, oh baby. Cost one. 
What? We have enough. There's enough there. I promise. I prom I'm gonna steal one of these. We're gonna make another one. Ho. Oh. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's see here. There we go. Boo shakalaka. Sprint, ya dang gawi. We need to be getting on with the video. Okay, there we go. And, okay, so let's see here if this makes sense. And 20 durability. But our mining level is cobalt. So let's go get some cobalt. Perfect. All right, we are in the spooky place, and there's some cobalt right here. But it's, it's teasing us. We don't want to get that cobalt. That cobalt is too dangerous for our lives. Let's try this. Oh yeah, let's try some vein miner. Oh yeah, we got it. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. You can look at zombie pigment all you want. I'm so used to Enderman being around me. Oh, getting some frame drop. I have not generated these chunks before, so I went left immediately when I came into the Nether to find the Nether fortress. Boom! Check that out. Look, we're up to nine already. We're gonna grab some. Yes, ardite. If you combine ardite and cobalt. In a smeltery, like we have, you get manuleum, which is the strongest material, I do believe, in um, Antigra's Construct. I don't know if that's changed since. And I also know that there's some ores that if you break them by zombie pigmen, I almost looked at that, Enderman. If you break them by zombie pigmen, they get mad. I don't know if that's still a thing. I know I've died a lot to that. <gasps> Yo, jerk! I did not know that was a thing. It, it toyed with me. It was like, you're gonna break me and you're gonna not get anything. Except death. And I fell for it, guys. Oh, look at these. Look at you. All right, so do we have any more Ardite we can easily snag? Oh, pfft. there's one literally sitting above the surface. Gonna grab you. Oh, there are more. There are more of you. Perfect. Come here. Come here. Hey, quiet guest. We are trying to make a YouTube video here. You're not... Shut up. Do not listen to me. Oh. Ow. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, so I'll head on back into the overworld, and I'll be right back. All right, so I went ahead and threw the cobalt into the smelter along with two ardite, just because, if I do remember correctly, um, manulium makes the best tools, but doesn't make the best... Actually, hold up. Let's have a look. Do we have our tinkers? Our tinkers book? I think we do. I think you get it when you craft one of the first items in the game. Let's have a look here. Yeah, materials and you. Um... So they will allow you to replace them, which is good. Oh my goodness. You know, I thought that something was good when it wasn't. Okay, so let's look at the durability. So Vibrant Alloy is at 220 and durability for Redstone Alloy is at... Oh, I, Pulsating Iron is at 920. Super Turtle 920. Oh, Solarium is at 1500. Is there any other one that's that high? Sponge, why is the sponge so high? But look at look at the mining speed. That's so, oh my gosh, look at paper. But it is writable, which gives you more modifiers, which is what we want, honestly. Night slime is pretty good. Bromo slime is pretty good. So cobalt has a 780 speed, but 12. And then ardite has a 990 durability, but 3.5. Manilium has 820 and 7.02, and then the what is it? attack is 8.72. Is there any one that's higher than that? Electrum is higher, but the durability is lower. Evil infused iron. Durability is 666. That's funny. Attack is 13. Jeez Louise. Now, if I remember correctly. Okay. So, dirt, okay, so Supremium, which is stupid expensive to make, has 5,500 durability. Oh my gosh. Pink's on infinity. So this is what we're going to make our end tool out of. 
which is these infinity ingots, but they are stupid expensive, guys. Oh my gosh. There, that's our end game stuff there. Um, they added so much into this. Certus Quartz is in here. Wow, that's interesting. Uh, let's see, gold, glowstones in here. Okay, so, Man of Steel. Nope, that's not a decent one to think of. Dark Matter, that's ridiculous. Wyvern Core. What the heck? Chaotic core? Oh my gosh. And it's even higher. Okay, so we're making our end tool out of that. Just kidding. And then wood. Look at that. So we have all these different modifiers that we'll probably not use all of them, but we're going to use a lot of them, if that makes sense. So let's see here. Yep, so we got manuelin, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a pickaxe head out of cobalt. And we're going to see about upgrading our tool here. Now, I believe it's still a thing where you can upgrade it. Let's see here. So if we go like this, yep. And durability goes up a bit. Mining speed goes up quite a bit. So if we go, let's see, how many modifiers? We have three left. Three left. Now, experience. so these do gain experience, that's perfect. So what we need to do is get enough gold and make one of the reinforcing plates. But I don't think you guys are producing much gold right now. What's in you? Oh, look, we got some gold. You won't be needed. So we got some stuff going on in here. Uh, nothing to be concerned about, though. We don't we have any gold. I don't have to start sifting some gold over here. So I'll be right back. All right, so another cool thing I forgot to mention about the smeltery is so say we put five in here, it will give us two for every one we have. So it'll go, so instead of five, it will be 10 in total, which is sweet because we are poor. We are very poor. <laughs> so now I believe, if I'm not mistaken, hold on, let's go back over here. We got to grab, I'm sorry, sheep. I want your eyes. Oh, he didn't drop his eyes. No, we wasted that sheep. I thought it was a hat. Oh, no, I feel so terrible. Bye, Mr. Sheepums. No, oh, I feel like a jerk. Anyway, <laughs> we need some cobblestone. Oh, don't look at the Enderman. What do you have? Hey, I want your eyes. Bro, get on my level. And you didn't drop your eyes either. What the heck? Oh, oh, dang, we got another one of these. Dude, these things are so awesome. So if we go like this, check this out. Oh, it's on that one. So we actually don't need this cable here anymore. Oh, yes, we do. I forgot. We need to power this bad boy, the compactor. Okay, so that's all we need to do. But anyway... If we come over here and place that there, that looks horrible. We can, oh, gotta break you, gotta go like this, gotta go like that. And we can place this right here on the bottom. And now this is getting power from nothing. It just makes its own power because it feels like it's cool. And I agree with it, it's pretty cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch this block back, all good. Ta-da, looks beautiful again. But now that we got the cobblestone, let's come on over here. I'm enunciating weird words. There's no rhyme or reason. Okay, so we're going to make one. Obviously, we're going to make the casting out of gold here. But we're also, after that, we're going to make an obsidian binder. We're going to switch that on to our pickaxe and see if how much durability it gives us. So we have three modifiers. If we do this, we keep the modifiers. Okay, that's good. Now let's go ahead and try to make the tough tool, well, not tough tool rod. We need the normal tool rod. We need a stick. Do we have a stick? We don't have a stick. Okay. This one. All right. Oh, wrong one. We gotta go like this. That'd be cool if you could make casts out of whatever, but I guess they gotta be serious about what they're doing or something. 
All right, oops, leave that there. Actually, let's do the Manulium tool rod, just because we, we can, mainly. Okay, so this should significantly... Oh, but it does take away a modifier. Darn it. Ah, it's okay. It's okay. We have a really OP pickaxe now. And it will replace that because we needed all that. Oh, boy. That's going to use all of our redstone. Oh, boy. Um, we're going to have one left. Mining speed 17. Oh, okay. I accidentally did it. I didn't mean to. We have that now. That's a thing. Okay, one redstone left. That's beautiful. And we're going to grab a diamond, too. It'll add 500 more durability on... Uh, durability. Like how I said that, I said durability. And so, look, now we're at 1,100 durability for one one pick. Oh, man. <laughs> That's not what I had in mind. So, my thing is, I think we should go to the nether. And I need some food. We need to go to the nether and... Start auto mining just a bunch and start gaining experience levels on it. All right, so we're here in the nether, listening to the gas to be weird. And we're just going to go like this. Yeah. And gain some experience. Now, it's weird. It's like they've almost limited how much you can vein mine. Because I'm hold. There we go. I am holding it down. You're feeling comfortable with it. And we gained a modifier back. Check that out. Pretty cool, huh? So it does have the chance of gaining a modifier... Uh, or like getting like a cool upgrade. So like sometimes it'll give us like more redstone. So it'll be oh geez, it'll be a lot faster. Uh, but we don't really need to worry about how fast it is right now, because it is it is freaking quick. So the one I'm like I want so bad is the durability on it, because I just want all of the durabilities ever. So I'm gonna eat all this up and we're gonna have some more fun. All right, we are all grubbed up, grub a dub dub. Hey, I really want to steal some of these nether ch or nether quartz chickens. Oh, how are we looking? Feeling comfortable? Don't walk in that chicken. You're gonna die, I think. Oh, I'm on fire. You little jerk, where'd you go? There you are. I told you not to walk in there, chicken. Why did you not listen? Now you're dead, and I have to go steal your brother instead of you. I'm so sad. I'm actually not all that sad. There's a lot of these nether chickens everywhere. I almost fell in that hole. Okay. There we go. What do we get? Oh, so it's it's just a modifier every time you do it. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Let's head on back into the overworld. All right, guys, so it looks like it wants us to make one more of these. And... Oh, it needs us to hold the faucet. Okay. So you didn't think I was just doing this because I felt like getting into Tinkers. Nah, we had, to, we had to do a whole quest thing. Ready? There it is. We did it. So let's pick the loot chest, and let's open it up. Let's see here. Yeah, all right. Oh, man, not the best thing in the world. But let's see what's next. Is there anything after it? Nope. Nothing after it. Just that. Okay. So, unfortunately, guys, that's the end of the episode. If you did like it, please make sure to hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe. But, guys, it's been Super Turtle. And thank you so much for watching. You guys are the best. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out. Bye-bye.